Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Sweden Navia in not European results for this is uh, this is Victoria 2, just in case you weren't aware. Um I mean I don't even really want to 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 handle moving over to France. So yeah, if you guys could just go ahead and surrender. That would be great. No? You don't wanna? Ooh. 49.89 research points now. And we still need a lot more clerks. Like, that's the thing. Like, there's still so many more base research points we can get. If we can just get our, uh... Well, get the industry really cooking, still. So, there's nothing we can research in Army. There's plenty in Navy, but we don't care about Navy. Um, we could get... Factory input efficiency tech down a little bit. Diplomatic influence. Factory costs could come down. Organized factory. Factory output. It's probably a good one to go for. More education efficiency. Max national focus allows the anarchic bomb throwers. Oh, that sounds not good. War exhaustion, I don't really care about. Experimental psychology. Behavioralism. Mm, ooh, education efficiency. We do want to teach everyone how to read. On the other hand, advanced metallurgy. Coal, sulfur, iron, sulfur, mine size. Steel production goes up. Precious metal production goes up. Maybe. Um, I'm thinking probably the uh, factory output efficiency tech. See if we can actually turn these things into productive, productive factories now. Maybe if we lower, uh, lower tariffs a little bit. Tell you what, we'll go down to 50%, but we're going to tax everyone. Compensate for it. We only have 1.11 million to, to play with as a buffer. Uh oh, it's the Netherlands down in, in Africa. Do I have any armies in Africa? I don't think I do. I think we I think we got rid of them all. That'd be so much e Ah, oh, shoot. I just told my army to march up there. It'd be so much easier to be able to use the right mouse button to move. The middle mouse button is just a little bit diff more difficult to click, you know? These guys have been sieging for so long. They're so bad at it. Like, you really do need to have the recon efficiency. Oh, hey, it's the French. Cool. The French want to fight. I like this. Wait a minute. How did the French get over here? What happened to our navy? It needs to be a, patrol, a patrol function in your navies. All right, the French have sent over 53,000 infantry. Hmm. So, 53,000. That is going to be... Potentially as many as 20 in the front row. I don't think our combat width is that high still. Combat width is, you know, it is still 20. Alright, well if that's the case, we want to have more artillery before we engage that. Let's grab a second army. Whichever one of these finishes their siege first, and then we'll come smash that thing together. The British, on the other hand, we'll go kill them with this stack. And we should, you know, rock them. Rock their socks off. French have recovered, so it's apparently stronger. Nope, the UK added some troops there. Alright, let's add you. We'll have you come down... Oop, oh, didn't mean to do that. Have you come down to here. And then you can come down to here. You need a little bit of time to recover. You're not going to be able to, are you? Stay in our own land. Let's bring you over instead. Get that organization, that recovery rate. Where do we see the, the percent right there? 200%? And we get a, a bonus of 15% from technology. Yay! How nice. Yeah. We're losing some money now. We need to get out of this war. Alright, let's do this. feel pretty good about this. 
I think this is our first primary, first major battle with the French. Of course we roll a zero. Because you know reasons. But, watch the deployment. That is a beautiful thing. We're, look, we're killing 7,000 men per day. Hey, you guys actually took something. Weird. Look, there's more French. Battle of Leeds. Oh, that's, that's not the one we want. We want this one. Kill the French. We're all going to Canterbury. Drive them into the ocean. Stupid French. They can't just, like, cross here, can they? I don't think they can. You know, I didn't, I really don't want these armies marching together anymore. I don't want to suffer that 5% attrition. We do need to deal with that other 38 stack from France. I'll take these two armies together and have them do it. Even more factory. We're going to get lots and lots of factory output stuff done in the next few years. Lots of diplomacy stuff available. So he's still just not willing to surrender. Um, I don't I don't know why. I don't know what he expects to gain out of any of this. I feel like he should give up. He doesn't want to. So we got pure infantry with infantry and cannons. It's not perfectly ideal, but we've got enough infantry to make it make it well, make it work well. We're rolling pretty well. We have four attack values as well. Yeah, that would be the French dying. He's now heading to Manchester. We'll take the 18 stack. We really do need some more Hussar. Are these these all have forts? What's the fort level here? Fort level 2. I think that's the main thing. Like, this one took so long. Yeah, fort level 2 without any engineers. Is there no way that I can get a ticking war score? No, it's just defender occupation 13.7, attacker occupation 5.7. What? What do they have that, that's given them 5 war score? Is it what's going on down here with Italy? Can't possibly be like this. And why are the Scandinavian citizen like what what is up with that? Do I need to I guess I probably need to deal with that, huh? At some point. We can build some troops in Africa. Let's raise up some infantry in Africa. Um, I don't want to have to send an army down there, so we'll just go like... Three infantry... And a Hussar. Enough that, you know, they, they can move around and they can probably kill... Something. It is possible that the only way I'm going to be able to beat France is to, uh... Oh no, you're supposed to keep going that way. Sorry, I didn't mean to. See, I keep on middle mouse clicking and it... Ugh. Alright, well, let's, let's take our troops... Hey, wait, wait, wait. An alliance offer from Germany. No. I was hoping that was them surrendering, but it wasn't. Alright, I guess we're just going to hop right across these this strait. We're going to... Straits to Dover. Walk right across. We'll mar march on Paris. You can pass a new reform. What do they want? 
the minimum wage movement. They want acceptable minimum wage. Oh, we've already got our good school system, which is nice. Um, I'm thinking I might do this one anyway, just because I don't I don't care what they want. I want I want healthcare. I want population growth. I mean, the minimum wage. That's just silly. No, you get healthcare. You get healthcare, and you're gonna like it. All right, so they're on the boats now. They do seem to take quite a long time to get over there. It might be faster to just allow them to do the siege than trying to invade a second province. We'll see. We'll get our beachhead. Hey, we're like literally storming the beaches of Normandy, aren't we? That's fun. What year is it? <laughs> this is splendid. Yes, yes, yes. The Netherlands is, is focusing on distant overseas things, because, you know, that's how you win wars. When there's a war in Central German, in Central Europe, right around Paris, you should wor worry about Africa. Totally. 100%. No, really. It's great. All right, now, you should be able to march there very quickly. September 20. Oh no, see, that's really slow. So let's do this. We're just gonna, again. The game should know better. It should just automatically, like, do that. It's so much faster. We've lost the occupation of something down in Africa. Shocking! And yet we're marching on Paris. So, I mean, we just ruin his economy, right? And uh, get his war exhaustion up, and then, then he wants out. Is that not how it works? I think I may have broken the game, because, like, they... They want me to, um... It, it, it's over a, a province, like, a, a state that... The, the war goal doesn't even make sense anymore. You know? Alright, I don't think we need full naval maintenance anymore. This is very costly. <clears throat> More nonsense with Columbia. We have Paris. Alright, I guess we march on Amsterdam, yeah? Can we? Can we even get there? No, we'll have to do another beachhead. Alright, well. How- the, those battles against the transports are worth so much more war score than you can justify. It's silly. I'll try to blockade both sea zones. probably go from here straight up into into Middleburg imagine how much more tech we'd have if we were at 100% literacy who is it that doesn't know how to read is it I bet it's the Brits how much you want to bet I bet you it's all these damn Brits that we've just brought in 27.4% silly Irish. You got these British craftsmen. They can't read. Where, where, I, where I come from, if half the people can't read, that means you can't read. Like, that's bad. You need to be able to read better than that. Literacy is very important. So, I mean, Italy's fighting the good fight down here, but... Um, you know, we, we've kind of eaten the center of France, so he's going to have a very hard time now. <clears throat> Do we really only have three armies? I thought we had more. I mean, I know that there's more available that require... Um... Let's kill their infantry. They just require the, the mobilized troops, but 
And we got these infantry. <laughs> Italy, what are you doing up here? I, I got this. I got this, man. You don't need to worry about up there. It's a shame I don't have more infamy. Like, more more infamy, like, available, you know? It's like a currency. It's, it's very similar to Monarch Points. Hey, would you give me military access, please? What a jerk. I'm attacking your ally. Why don't you join the war? Huh? Huh? Did you think about that? You can carry 12 weight, and this is way more than 12 weight. We need the whole navy to be able to ferry one of these things over. Well, this naval landing is going to be pretty pretty painful, but we're going to do it anyway. Brunei. We're not currently at war with Brunei, so there's nothing we can do with that. I don't, I don't really want to do that war. Three seventy-two on their side. They they still technically have more troops than we do, or something. What exactly is it that determines this number? Total military strength. France, UK. UK says they have two hundred and seventeen military strength. Where where on earth does this number come from? One hundred and twenty-three British brigades. Okay, I mean yeah, you've got those. Except your entire homeland is like occupied. I don't. Where are you going? Stay here. Siege that down. So we've got our beachhead. My entire goal here is just to, to try to make France have more war exhaustion. They're at six... No, eight war exhaustion, six infamy. He's at 48 war exhaustion, so... I don't know. I don't know how he's still in business, you know? Like, he can't possibly afford all those those armies that he theoretic, theoretically has. Meanwhile... Oh, we do have an army down here. Huh. Forgot about that. Oh, you know what? I forgot all about Transvaal. Right. Crap, crap, crap. I had gained a CB, didn't I? Yeah, I had one, and I totally forgot about it. Oh well. He didn't really want that land anyway. And this was my army that was going to go up here, so I'm just going to send it up here. And if you run into stuff along the way, I'm sure you'll be fine. The Battle of Ho. Stop rolling nines. Mines are unacceptable. I feel like this infantry should be right here. He could he could totally flank that. Once you're off that, we will dock. Oh, apparently we're doing a battle, okay. Well, that's unfortunate, because now we're going to suffer a bunch of attrition, because it's the end of the month. And I can't get out of there. In time. Oh well. The Edison light bulb activate electric gears. Okay, uh, we can pass another reform. Uh, it's going to be the uh, healthcare. Yep, more population growth, please. It's the year 1888. We're going to have universal healthcare for all Swedes. And Africans, and, and I guess maybe the Brits too. If we have to. If we must. Alright, cool. We'll take it back here, though. I'll uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video, where hopefully, hopefully they'll end up, like, you know, letting us end this war. I don't, I don't really know exactly what he wants. Negative 74 war score. He's still not willing to just give up, so. Oh, they would accept. Never mind. We've won a devastating victory and can expect fulfillment of several war goals. Well, let's just keep doing it then. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you in the next one. See you soon.